Okay, so now question nine. Okay, it says that the ratio of cars, this is ratio, uh, the ratio of cars to motorcycles sold in a garage is 5 is to 7. If the dealer sold 142 more motorcycles than cars in a particular month, find the number of each type of vehicle sold. And the B part is a probability question. So let's swap the A first. After that, we come to the B. All right, it says that uh, we know that the, the ratio given was 5 is to 7. And the 5 here... Is for cars and here is for motorcycle, right? This is what we know from the question, and also from the the question also is telling us that the dealer sold one one hundred forty two more of the motorcycles. So it means that if the cars is X, the motorcycles will be X plus one hundred forty two more. Are you good? Again, what I'm saying is that so if the cars, we don't know the number of cars that were, uh, were sold. So let's put X for the number of cars that were sold. So it means that the number of motorcycles that were sold will be this X because they, this X plus 142 because they are saying that they sold 142 more motors than cars. So it is the X plus 142 more that were sold. Are we good? So now we can put this in a statement as 5 is to 7 being equal to X is to x plus one four two are we good now from there we can write this in fraction that five on seven being equal to x on x plus one four two i hope you are following so now from there we will we will just cross multiply and, and get a linear equation and solve for x so we are going to get seven x for here being equal to 5 multiplying x plus 1, 4, 2. So we multiply further and we get 7x being equal to 5x plus 710. Now, from there, we will group like terms. So we are going to get 7. We are going to get 7x minus 5x being equal to 710. Now we are, we are going to get 2x being equal to 710 then we are going to get when we divide we're going to get x being equal to 355 355 so from the small equation that we uh, statement that we wrote over here we can conclude by saying that cars because we use cars for x so we are going to say cars number of cars sold number of cars sold is equal to 355 then the motor motorcycle will be equal to motorcycle will be equal to the 355 plus the number of cars that uh, the motor that were sold more than the cars so that is 142 so this one the, the motorcycle is, is going to give us 497 so we are going to get in that month the, the, the dealer sold 355 of cars and also 149 of motorcycles now the B part of the question 9 says that it says that the probability of an athlete winning two independent events are that is 3 is to 5 sorry uh, 3 over 5 and also 2 over 9 find the probability of winning only one event and also none of the events so let's take the B part no, so what we do is we have, we have to know our event, our first and second event. So, so with our first event, we have, we have, that's 3 over 5. But because there's a fraction, we have to take it out from 1. Because 1 is a whole, and this is not a whole. So we have to take it from 1, so we know, we know the remaining that was left. So we are going to get probability of first event will be equal to 1 minus... 3 on 5, and that is going to give us 2 on 5. Are we good? Now, we come to the second event. So, probability of second event. And the second event, we know is to be 2 on 9. So, we again subtract it from 1. That's the whole. So, we are going to get 1 minus 2 on 9 being equal to 7 on 9. I hope you are following. So now, the probability of winning one event will be, that's the what I, only one event will be 
three on five. That's the first event. Multiplying the the the. This one is second. This one is second. Okay. Multiplying seven or nine in a bracket plus two or nine. Multiplying multiplying two on five. So we are multiplying this one. We are multiplying this one by this one. That is the result for the second event. And also multiplying this one by this one. After we subtracted from one, we subtract the, fra the, the, the fraction that we were given by what we had in the second event. And also, we also we we also multiply this one by this, but from what we got from it. So we are going to get seven on fifteen plus four on forty-five. The reason being that if I multiply this by this, uh, uh, we can cancel three goes here one. It goes here three. So three go cancel here one, cancel here three. So one times seven is seven. Then five times three is fifteen. Then two times two is four, and nine times five is forty-five. So we will get this. So now after after solving this, after after solving this, the probability of winning only one event will be five or nine so try it and see this is a fraction that's why i do not waste my time on it uh -huh. so solve this fraction whether you get uh five or nine so that's the probability of winning just one event now the probability of winning no event or let's see what the question says it says that none of the events uh-huh so then the probability of winning none of the events will be that's probability winning none of the event now from here when we subtracted from one what did we get we get two over three so that's the, the two over five here sorry two over five here is the probability for not winning the one and the probability for, for not winning the two uh, the second event two is this so we have to just multiply the two you understand there's a probability of not winning any a probability of not for, for not winning the two but there's a probability for winning the two, one and there's a probability for winning the two but this and this you know, as we, sub we subtracted from the whole that's the one now what we had is a probability for not winning so we have to multiply the two so we are going to get two on five times seven on nine and we are going to get 14 on 45 so that is the probability of wi not winning any of the two so thank you very much for watching I'm doing the other questions and they will, they will be in soon. Thank you. Subscribe.